What's up, my fellow ghost? And welcome back to the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe walkthrough. We're gonna go on with the next part, Beaver Dam. I'm not feeling too good today, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm sniffling and sneezing, man. Snap, I got a cold. Oh, blimey, looks like the old girl's got the kettle on. Nice cup of rosy Lee. It's lovely. Now it's merely a trifle, you know. Still plenty to do, I ain't quite finished it yet. Yeah, look, the business when it is, though. Oh, crap! Oh, my God, I thought things would get peaceful. No, oh, crap. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, put some pants on, man. Oh my god. Uh, yep. It is ogre boss battle time. Now, actually, I beat this once already, so I see the ogre's life. I don't know if you see it when you do it. I don't think you see it when you do it. health there is help like surrounding around the battlefield and he also got the medicinal supplies for Lucy so don't be afraid to use them all right once you be damage him enough and you get Lucy on him you gotta switch over to Edmund and get Edmund on him and then you just go and uh, hammer him with uh, Peter and you get Peter on him and then all you got left is Susan you gotta hammer on him with her so that's all you gotta do this part. when you get uh when you get him damaged like that I think it's worse to start. No, hold up. We gotta um, hammer him some more before that happens. Alright, let's start. Oh, never mind. Door started spawning. You're gonna wanna switch to Susan and snipe the dwarves off. Um, these little punks over here are gonna make it hard. You, you can do it if you just try. You may have to switch over. And this ogre will go for whoever you're fighting with, so that makes your life miserable as possible. Hope you did a good job of that, didn't you? I'm gonna make the owl Oh, my 
All right, so let's get back to what I was doing earlier. Yeah, but you do the same thing until you kill the ogre. Not a really hard challenge to do. I mean, it's relatively easy, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the idea though, if you lose one of the children you die, it's just not one of my strong suits. I think that does change when you get like, later on in the game, I'm not sure whether or not that changes or not, but I think it changes. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something pops. Yeah, I'm good. That's done, the ogre collapses and we beat this part of the game. That was close. Mr. Fever, are you alright? Yes. Thank you, children. Isn't that anything we can do to help Tumnus? They'd have taken him to the witch's house. You know what they say, there's few that go through them gates that come out again. Fish and chips. <laughs> but there is hope, dear. Lots of hope. Oh, yeah, there's a right bit more than hope. Aslan is on the move. Who's Aslan? Well, he's only the king of the whole wood. He's been away for a long while. But he's back, and he's waiting for you at the stone table. He's waiting for us. There's a prophecy. It has long been foretold that two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve will defeat the White Witch and restore peace to Narnia. I think you've made a mistake. We're not heroes. We're from Finchley. You can't just leave. He's right. We have to help Mr. Tomnus. I'm sorry. But it's time the four of us were getting home. Ed? Ed? I'm gonna kill him. You may not have to. Has Edmund ever been to Narnia before? Well, guys, that is it for this part of the walkthrough. COD out.